And now, your first alert weather. All right, let me show you the camera. I'm sorry, I'm checking the power lines. Make sure everything's on. There's the uh, flag. We've got a breeze around here. Thanks for watching in the little red truck over there. Uh, we, we're glad you're here. Boy, these breezes, that's the main weather story right now is bright sunshine. This is over Idaho Falls next to Tacoma. Uh, and 73 bright degrees and 14 miles an hour. The gust may be beyond that. And we've got a cold front to our north that is draping through here and just going to you know, push a little bit out of the west. And it's, it's going to be bright for the day today. That's the great news. Another chamber of commerce kind of day. Or should I say experience. Here's the front. Right across Lewiston, McCall, you see how these scattered showers there? This is really not going to matter to us. Now, you may see some moisture here or there, but it's mainly the wind that's the story today. It's 68 degrees in IP. It's 72 degrees in AF. JH has 59, 71 in Lead Orb. And it's about 73 degrees in Idaho Falls. Yeah, we're clocking in 10 to 15 miles an hour. The gust with the front, or you can see them really through Mackey into Dubois into the canyon there. 22 mile an hour gust up through the upper half of uh, central Idaho. And then we get cruising into the southeastern highlands as well. Now, I've set this up so that you can follow the winds with me. And I want to explain this to you because, uh, you know, with the products that we have uh, here, we can show you where the winds are coming from. And this helps me because, uh, you know, I'm not really looking at a map here. It's a big green wall. Uh, but it helps me know from which direction the wind is uh, headed. So this color, red, is indicative of a southerly flow. And if it was blue, it would be coming from the north. Now watch this. I've set this to about 10 to 15 miles an hour. So we see calm winds into the day today. And we'll see those begin to pick up into tomorrow, especially with uh, cooler conditions. The front comes through. We get some mountain showers. You can see the red is turning to yellow on the color wheel. And we start to see more of those northerly winds. And then the clouds uh, will cover us. It'll be cooler. And there'll be just a spritz, just a slight chance of shower that sneaks in to some of our highland areas and we'll get ready for some rain probably in the sun Saturday and Sunday. So around 70 for the afternoon in Island Park, upper 70s along the 2015 roundabout strip and 70 into Jackson. It'll be 73 for the afternoon in Soda. Tonight's lows will take us into the 40s, so a little above average again like the highs today. Normally we should be right around 41 degrees or so and 71 in the afternoon, but we've got a, a little bit more of a spread here. We'll see these winds clock through into the evening hours, uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour. I wouldn't put out the autumnal decorations, all that hay and them scarecrows and stuff and those plastic pumpkins until we get the wind out of here and the rain this weekend. By the way, it's not even October yet. Everybody calm down with your PSL. Uh, we're going to see more of these clouds push through here by the time we do get into Wednesday, Thursday, and that's a little bit of a cover up. So we'll drop the temperatures a good 10 plus degrees from today on into Thursday. We bring in a 40% chance of a shower. That's in salmon with lows in the 40s. Now, if colder air sneaks in here, it may affect some of this rain, but at this point, it looks like we're going to see uh, some showers, heavier showers on into Saturday and Sunday, uh, and then we they may linger <laughs> on into Monday. You know how this works? It's like having a, uh, having a teenager in the bathroom before you're trying to go to church. You can't get anybody on time. 75 for the afternoons, uh, 70 in Jackson and the dip in the temps on into the 60s. Pocatello will be in the upper 70s. Bright, you'll need those Ray-Bans, 47 tonight, and that bright, shiny new sign in Pocatello. You know, I was there when they were digging up post holes for that thing, and it's really quite amazing what they've done with the lava rocks behind it, and it really is something uh, to see. 75 and bright in Idaho Falls. Now, I think Idaho Falls now got to step up the game with the entry sign. This is what I'm thinking. I think there's a battle off. We got a cool one, but I think we put some neon on it. <laughs> yeah, don't you think? Don't you think we just need to? We got colored lights, but I'm thinking flashing neon, like that rubber ducky car wash. 71, <laughs> <laughs> 71 on into Wednesday. That's the first thing you see when you drive in. You need a car wash. We're going to see a, a car wash of Mama Nature's kind coming up this weekend. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jeff. Coming up, well, here's kind of a cool way to start a party.